when the world has these types of maps and you can see changes happening on a near daily basis, it's one thing to see it from above. Um, there's, there's still questions about how can you verify, if you see a change, how can you verify that it's real? And so we've started from the view from space, but part of what's next is to fold in all the information that you can get from, uh, the, the expression that's sometimes used is from mud to space. Um, from all the way down to the folks on the ground, the scientists like Sue said who, who seem to enjoy getting dirty, and to the folks who are um, citizen scientists who are just observing things that are passing through their backyard. I remember the first time we had a series of un very unusually warm summers in my hometown of Melbourne, Australia, and uh, at my parents' house, and we started to get um, flying foxes coming to raid the citrus trees that hadn't been there before, but now all of a sudden there were <laughs> large bats flying around the backyard. <laughs> so when you see unusual stuff like that, as the saying goes, if you see something, say something. Systems like eBird, like iNaturalist, allow everybody to be able to start to make observations that feed into the, to the, to the, the network of, of, uh, of observations. And, and when you think about it, when you conclude the humans, all of us being able to use smartphones to make observations, record them with GPS coordinates and timestamps, when you include that with the ability to observe from above, and feed all that information into the decision systems that allow countries to change their ideas as they go, right? To really have feedback into decision making, then you're talking about something that becomes a central nervous system for the planet, okay? For the first time, we can actually sense what's going on all around the world, and not just where the humans are, but also what's happening to vegetation and species. And this becomes like a central nervous system. This is sensory information coming in which can hopefully lead to better decision-making.